Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rucker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to jump through this wall. Roll the intro! So this effect is actually a lot easier than it appears and you only need a camera, a tripod and a wall. Now once you have all three of those you want to mount your camera to your tripod and frame up the shot. Now press record and then run out into the shot. Now when you're ready you just want to run and jump at the wall. Now try and do a big action because this is going to make the effect look really seamless. Just don't throw yourself at the wall too hard because you don't want to end up giving yourself a concussion or knocking yourself out so just be careful. Now once you've captured this you want to run around to the other side of the wall. You want to start on the wall and then push yourself away from the wall and make this action really big and really explosive. And then once you've captured this, you want to run back to the camera and you want to leave the camera rolling for around 10 seconds. This is your clean plate and you need this in order to do the effect, so do not neglect the clean plate. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects, we just want to scrub through our footage and we just want to separate this into three video layers. So we just want to find the shot of you jumping into the wall, jumping out of the wall and that clean plate. Now from here we want to create a new adjustment layer and we want to trim this down so that it's just three frames long. So we'll just make those cuts and then on this adjustment layer we want to create a new mask. So we'll go up to the circle mask, draw a circle around myself, we'll go into levels on the effect controls and then inside here we just want to pull the gamma up to around 1.2 and we'll adjust the input white to around 232. And then from here, we can just increase the feathering of the mask so that it blends with the scene nicer. And then we'll just create some keyframes on the opacity. So at the start of this, we'll pull the opacity down to zero. At the end, we'll pull this down to zero. And in the middle, this will be 100%. So as you can see, this circle of light flashes on on top of me as I'm going through that wall. Now we just need to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll copy that, paste that onto the video, and then we can just move this across into the timeline and then just move that mask across so that it's on top of me there. And there you go, we've got a flash going into the effect and a flash coming out of the effect. Now from here, we want to select all of the layers and pre-compose this and we can just rename this to whatever we see fit. So we'll just call this jump footage. And inside this jump footage composition, we want to find the point where we disappear into the wall and in here, we want to create a new keyframe for scale, position, and rotation. We'll scroll back two frames, create another set of keyframes, scroll forward four frames, and create those same set of keyframes. And then in the middle, we want to increase the scale and the position, and then we'll also adjust the rotation slightly. And now, as you can see, if we play this, this has added a bump. It's almost like an earthquake effect added to the video. And this is just going to help to make that video effect look even more seamless. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the lighting. We're going to add a flash of lighting. So we'll add some levels. And on that middle keyframe, we'll pull the input white up to around 200. Create a keyframe, scroll back two keyframes. We'll pull this back up to the original value, which is 255. And then we'll scroll across to that end keyframe and create another keyframe for 255. The movement is still a little bit too static though, so we need to create some motion blur. So we'll select motion blur on the footage and then we'll activate it in the sequence by pressing these three circles. And then this looks really awesome. So we're just gonna pre-compose this one more time and we can re rename this to handheld. And this is where we're going to add some handheld shake to the footage. So we're just gonna go into effects and presearch and search for wiggler armor. Drop that on top of the footage and then we're just going to adjust some of these settings. So. We don't want the wiggle speed to be that fast. We want to slow that down. And then we just want to make sure that the rotation is not as sharp as 30%. We want to pull this down to around 3%. We'll adjust the wiggle scale to around 2%. So now that we've added wiggle around, well, we just want to increase the scale of this footage because at the moment we're seeing the black on the edges of the video. So we just want to go across to that first set of keyframes and we want to pull this up to around 120 and the same on the last set of keyframes. And then we can pull our cursor all the way back to the beginning of this footage and we can increase the scale to around 165 and then we can just adjust the position accordingly. So if we play this back, you can see that the camera is zooming out, it's slowly shaking and as we jump through that wall, there is a bit of a camera shake. 
And there you go, that is the jump through the wall effect now complete. It's actually a really simple effect. And if you master this, then it can look really realistic, really cinematic, and it can really help to transform your videos. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.